Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at the drugs gang who are behind bars after flooding streets in Gateshead with heroin and cocaine. Brazen Oliver Howlett headed up 12 strong group and even continued to direct a large scale business while in prison by using an illicit mobile phone. Newcastle Crown Court heard that over a period of a year, the 31 year old was in charge of a conspiracy which saw class A drugs being dealt to more than 100 customers a day and raking in an average of £2,600 a day. But unbeknown to him and his fellow dealers, Police were one step ahead and were secretly gathering covert evidence, including the use of an undercover officer. The officer repeatedly managed to buy heroin and cocaine from the gang by ringing a phone number known to local drug using community as the Ollie Line and arranging to meet in various locations in Gateshead. Messages found on mobiles, which were subsequently seized, also proved who was involved in the operation and what their respective roles were. Mr. Howlett of Eastdale Gardens in Low Fell, Gateshead, headed up the conspiracy while his partner, Paige Bullock, 23, of Oakwood in Leem Lane, and her father, Paul Bullock, 46, of Broomdoor in Gateshead, were next in line and acted in a management capacity. The court heard that Gordon Hunter, 37, of Bondine Avenue West in Gateshead, was Mr. Howlett's lieutenant, while Stephen Douglas, 33, of Mulberry Gardens in Felling, and convicted pedophile Wayne Thompson, 34, of Easington Avenue in Reckington, who has since been jailed for 15 years for rape, were drivers and supplied the drugs, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine and conspiracy to supply heroin and have been locked up for varying lengths of time. Now, Mr. Howlett has been jailed for 11 years and 7 months, Paige and Paul Bullock for 8 years and 1 month each, Mr. Douglas for 7 years and 2 months, Mr. Thompson for 5 years and Mr. Hunter for 9 years. Passing sentence, Judge Edward Binloss said the conspiracy was of some scale and frequency and of significant duration. Judge added the effects of Class A drug addiction on the local community and the harm that it causes is seen in these courts on a daily basis and known only too well. The, the court heard that the police officer started working undercover in Felling and other Gateshead areas. Tom Story prosecuting said he met two other drug users he came to know outside a library in Gateshead. They told him they were waiting for a supplier they know as Ollie and gave him his number. Five minutes later, a dark blue mini pulled up. There were two male occupants. One of the acquaintances approached the car and asked for one of each and was supplied with two wraps in exchange for money. The court was told that the officer was also dealt a single wrap of cocaine. Mr. Story continued, he asked if he could call them in the future by the number he had been given. The passenger supplying them was Brian Sewell and the driver was Wayne Thompson. The officer could see Brian Sewell had a tub between his legs with wraps of brown and white powder inside. The officer continued to buy drugs from the gang and often dealt with other members of the group, not just Mr. Sewell and Mr. Thompson. In total, three different phone numbers, all known as the Ollie Line, were used during the conspiracy. The court heard that on a number of occasions, phones were seized by police, but the numbers were renewed on a new SIM card within 24 hours. The members of the gang were further identified as the messages on their mobiles were analyzed. Mr. Howlett was arrested and remanded in custody for a separate matter, but continued to run the business from his prison cell. And after all the group were arrested, Mr. Howlett, both Bullocks and Douglas still continued with their involvement for another three months. Mr. Routledge said, this is not an operation that spans the length of this country. It doesn't get out of the Gateshead postcode. We are dealing on a daily basis with LSD, heroin and cocaine and other drugs moving around the country using sophisticated means to transport the drug. And court was told Mr. Howlett, who has since had a child with Paige Bullock, has also suffered life-changing injuries after jumping off a flyover on the Western Bypass. Jane Foley for Paige Bullock, who has no past convictions, said she was naive to get involved after being coerced by Mr. Howlett and was devastated, embarrassed and ashamed. She added, Paige's role really was one of that of an errand girl. She was a go-between and a point of contact for those unable to contact Mr. Howlett directly. John Wilkinson for Paul Bullock, who has also no past convictions, said he lived in council accommodation and had a payday loan. He continued, he doesn't seem to have made much out of all of this, other than bring a whole heap of trouble on his own head and, indirectly, on his long-suffering wife, Penny Hall, representing Mr. Douglas, who has six offences on his record, said he'd been one of the first to plead guilty. She added, life has changed significantly for him since his arrest. He's in a stable relationship, he's in employment, in a good job, and obviously is well thought of as a hard worker. Liam O'Brien for Mr. Thompson said, he only made £70 a day 
from a conspiracy and had since been jailed for 15 years for rape. Christopher Knox, from Mr. Hunter, who has 21 offences on his record, said he was normally a perfectly reasonable man who also hadn't earned much from the operation. The other six gang members were sentenced at a later date. So what are your thoughts about this Gateshead drugs operation that saw a group of nine arrested for their distribution of class A drugs? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.